Well, I'd say the peas have started to grow. Welcome to part four, guys. If you're just joining us now and you haven't seen the other videos in the series, what I'm doing in this 10 part vlog is documenting the process from seed to harvest of growing a crop of snow peas using just a 100 watt LED light. We're in week three and obviously the peas have gone bonkers. The time to trellis these guys was like yesterday. So we got our work cut out for us. Let's get started. Snow peas are floppy at the best of times, but ones grown indoors are just ridiculous. My first plan was just to stake these guys, so I grabbed some half inch bamboo stakes that I had and got right to it. I find that using bamboo stakes is normally a pretty quick fix, but these peas were having none of it. And they just weren't cooperating. There had to be a better way. So let's measure and see what we can come up with. I feel like I have enough stuff lying around the farm that we could put something together that's going to be better than these stakes. First, I'm going to measure up the wall and see if I have enough of these one by fours to make sort of a frame. You know, sometimes I feel like Tuco in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. This is exactly why we measure twice and cut once. This better fit. Zapping that bottom into place. Then I put screws evenly spaced across the bottom and the top. Well, let's hope this works. I hate screwing holes in the walls for nothing. Time for some netting. Thanks, Mom. I literally didn't have any of the good stuff, and she totally came through for me. This was perfect. It's a pretty easy install. This stuff stretches a little bit. So it's a pretty simple procedure just to hook it over those screws that I put in. The netting is 24 inches wide and we have a four foot section here to work with. So two vertical rows is all we're gonna need. Pretty simple stuff. Being plastic, this netting will never rust and it's super easy to cut down to size. I'm actually quite excited to see how it holds up to this crop of peas because then immediately after that, my mind's gonna go to what can I grow next? Quickly cutting some two inch twist ties to attach the pea stalks and we're almost ready to roll. The really cool thing about peas is that you usually just have to tie them up once early on and then they just climb on their own and figure it out. 
They do this all by themselves, very much unlike tomatoes and cucumbers. I got to admit, it looks a little rough right now, but once those peas start climbing and once they orient themselves upwards and more uniform, then I think we're really going to be in business. Well, how sweet is this? It finally feels like I have a proper place to grow these things. It's one thing to germinate the plants and have them start to grow, but to finally have a place for a plant like a snow pea to climb, that's just everything. I can now actually envision pulling snap peas off these vines and eating them. I think now having this grow into a massive wall of peas will seem far more like a reality rather than just an interesting backdrop for my videos. So tune back in soon for video number five where we go through the maintenance of these pea plants as well discuss whether or not we have to move that LED light. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.